Hello my fellow Aquarius, this is Oztanks 1972 coming to you from Australia. Ah, I have another product here to review and I just think it's absolutely fantastic. But first I'd like to thank Ben at Age of Aquariums for sending me this product. And here it is. It's the Hydol Corellia Circulation and Wave Pump. I hope I said that right. Um, these are not cheap pumps. As you can see, $69 it cost me, but it was well worth it. So let's get down to this uh, review. It's a 900 litre an hour um, circulation pump. As you can see, it's quite small. Just, just the box is small. I was really surprised when I got this thinking, oh gee, what have I bought here? It's, it doesn't look like much for what I paid for. I really expected a bigger item. Oh well, I hope the quality makes up for it. And it really did. But here we go. This one here states that it's actually for a 50 to 100 litre aquarium. Um, well, my aquarium here is actually 155 litres. Um, you might ask why I got something that was obviously too small for my aquarium. The answer is I have a planted aquarium. Um, I didn't want a typhoon in my aquarium. I have plants and I have slow swimming fish um, and I don't think they'd appreciate it if I introduced a, a typhoon. So let's have a look at it. There you go. Now you can see it's just creating a gentle wave on the Marble Queen sword there and another gentle wave on the Amazon sword which is exactly what I was after. Okay. Now, I know I've seen some of these on YouTube before, but it's kind of hard to see just how big they are, you know, and let's, let's face it, size, size matters when you're talking about wave makers and circulation pumps. Okay, so here, we, here it is. I've got a prop to help me <laughs> show you exactly how big it is. This is a 220 gram jar of Vegemite commonly available at any Australian supermarket. This, my friend, is how big the pump is. Okay, that is the pump. That's how big it is. So all you do is go to your local supermarket and you'll be able to see, you know, and actually feel it. And I'll tell you what, when, when it's actually in your hand, this one's half empty. I love Vegemite. <laughs> this is actually how much it weighs. So it only weighs about 120 grams. So um, that should help you out anyway. But I'm even going to go one step further with me props and show you just how much pressure this little tiny beast actually can create in the aquarium. And I'm, I'm saying that I am glad that I actually got this one and not the 1600, which is the next size up. And remember, these are the nano versions. So they're actually made for, you know, they call them nanos because they don't take up much space, but they give you a lot of oomph in your aquarium. So prop number two. Okay, we're over the kitchen sink now. Okay, and you'll see in a minute why we're over the kitchen sink. So you want to see how much water this and how much pressure it creates. Okay. Lights and sounds, bells and whistles. Okay. You see the water running down the sink? And you can hear the pressure of the water. Okay. Now, if you put your finger up against the tap at home, all right, and you'll feel this pressure. Let me just get this right, people. That is how much water it's actually pull it, pulling through. So as you can see the water going in the tank, that's how much water is pumping in my aquarium. 
So there's no doubt that that's actually providing a lot of circulation. Now, just listen to the, the tap. Now go home, uh, go to your sink and try to match that sound and then you can feel just how much pressure that's actually making. Well, I hope that helped everybody um, decide whether they want to buy the 900 litre an hour Corilla or the 1600 nano Corilla. And um, it's certainly, um, compared to the other reviews I've seen online, they've all been good. Um, this pump, and now I've had a few of the cheap Chinese ones over the years, and although some of them were pretty good, they were kind of misleading in their description on just how much the power they pull or how quiet they are. Um, so, and they're only like 10 or 12 bucks. And fine, if you wanted to spend 10 or $12 just to circulate your aquarium because, you know, you're not really that fast on circulation and you're, you're quite, you know, you're in your rights to, you know, buy a cheapo and chuck it in your tank and then throw it away, to, you know, six to 12 months. Mine usually wear out by six to 12 months and um, basically you throw them away and you buy it, you buy a new one. Well, with the Corellas, you can actually buy parts for them. You can buy the, the, uh, the impellers, you can buy the nose cones for them. Um, they sell them online or you can just go to a my friends at Age of Aquariums in, in Brisbane and just ask for Ben and um, he'll put you on the right track to actually uh, getting the right uh, replacement part. But I think this, this pump's probably a good investment. Um, you won't need to worry about that anyway for at least a couple of years. Well, I'm hoping to get a couple of years out of it. Um, and um, happy aquariums. And uh, we'll see you next time for a next exciting review. And just before I go, um, please like and subscribe because I really enjoy doing these videos for you guys. And... Um, Leave a comment if you've got any reviews you'd like me to do on certain products or, or products that I've tried. Um, all comments are appreciated, whether they're good or bad. Um, I, just, I just like to communicate with people. Thanks again. Catch you later. And just one more final note before I go. I score this Hydra Corilla definitely a 10 out of 10. Um, Design-wise amazing so if you're looking for something that does have a bit of quality and it will last you a while then this is this is the guy you want okay this is the guy you want thanks again see you later